Hey everyone, um, today I wanted to make, you know, just a quick video sharing my thoughts on this kind of weird drama that has been going on in the collecting community when it comes to the Jazz Inc.'s 89 Batmobile. Um, for those that don't know, um, Jazz Inc. Dioramas is soon to release their 1-6 scale 89 Batmobile. But before that, um, they wanted to send an early batch, uh, kind of like a test batch, to make sure that everything, you know, arrived well. For, for those that don't know about that, you know, if you were in the Facebook groups or if you've seen one of those live streams that the owner, Jost, has done, he's been talking about this for a while now, of uh, since summer, uh, early in the summer, saying that he was going to release a batch that was only going to be for a test. He was going to send the f like 40 vehicles to s different people, and you know you had you had to volunteer for that. You would send him a message and say that you were interested in it, and he would include you if there were still space available. Um, the purpose of this, you know, is to make sure that if there's any flaws in the shipping, he would make you know, the corrections before he started shipping it to a wider audience and started doing it, you know, from the first batch on. Um, so he started doing that um, and there's been problems and a lot of people are like, I don't know, I guess being really mad because they find that either Jazz Inc. was lying or they're making excuses or that YouTubers are like, I don't know, just hiding the problems. It is very interesting to see this. I mean, from somebody who has seen the streams and have seen the post that Yoast has made about it, uh, I really don't understand. Uh, there's, one, two, there's two sides to this. Um, one, I do understand what Yoast was trying to do I mean, this Batmobile is their highest selling vehicle to date, okay? And he wants to make sure that everything goes well once it starts shipping to the, to the masses, you know? It's completely understandable. He doesn't want to risk, you know, having problems to, for people to see after paying so much for this vehicle. Because I feel in some way, may, some some ways, maybe this vehicle could either make or break the company at this point because it's such high demand for it, you know. And you know, and they are a lot of people see Gas Inc. as this company that you shouldn't buy the vehicles when they're the first batches. They are, you know, sadly still with that, and. You know, but what better way to prevent that than to have these test batches and see if there's anything wrong, you know, with couriers, you know, throwing the boxes and all that, and then seeing where it's where, where there's weaknesses in the box to make it stronger. Um, so to me, that was understandable. And actually, to, to, be, to be honest here, I wanted to participate in that too. I actually messaged Yoast about it and said that if there was still space, I would like to have one of the early vehicles from the test batch. And I was given the okay, and I was confirmed that, that I, there was still space. But unfortunately, I didn't get one. Um, from, from what I was told, um, there were only 15 or 16 vehicles sent and the, he didn't send the, all 40, just the first 15. And after seeing all the problems that were happening with the shipping, he decided to stop and now just work on making the changes. Um, so there's not gonna be any more early batches, uh, early test vehicles being shipped out, which, you know, kind of sucks for in some in a way because I kind of wanted to have that vehicle already to have it in my collection but you know if it's to make it better then okay you know I'll wait but um, the, the the I think the problem here in my opinion I understand what Yos was trying to do um, 
but I think the mistake that he made was the fact that he started sending it to YouTubers. That he started sending it to the same people that he always does streams with, the people that always likes to talk nothing but, you know, all wonderful and amazing things about them, like like this YouTuber called Justin, who seems to always have like the early access to them, like or be well, not early access, just the very first one to have to have it to be able to make a, a positive review of it. And, you know, a lot of people noticed instantly that he wasn't being, you know, too clear on the Batmobile. He was like not showing certain angles of the vehicle and it was a little too quick in the video, video um, sorry, video. I didn't see it too much. You know, I don't like to watch Justin's videos. Um, nothing against him. Um, but, you know, he's just not that kind of YouTuber that I care to watch too much. He makes some really cool you know, um, angles and stuff with his videos, which is cool to watch sometimes back when I used to watch it, but I don't know, just the, his, um, reviews never seem to be too honest for me to watch, to be honest. Um, but I think the fact that he sent those to those YouTubers first, and then you saw Justin doing his video, which to a lot of people seemed off. And then other YouTubers saying, I got the Batmobile, but I'm not going to talk about it because it has problems. And then there was another YouTuber saying that he had it. He actually recorded a video, but then asked Yoast about, you know, if he could do the video, even though it had the problems. And then in the video saying that Yoast told him that he'd rather not, that he would send him a replacement and that he should do a video with that replacement caused more problems. Now people are saying, seeing that it feels like Yoast doesn't want people to know about the problems, which again, I understand because it is just a test batch, but there's this other side where the, the mistake was, you know, that you sent them to people that just loves to just talk of what they have. They just want to make a video to get instant views. Um, what I think Yoast should have done and what I think he should do if he, if he wants to do test batches again moving forward is to do a private email to people, to people that he knows are, you know, continued customers and say, look, want to do a test batch to make sure that everything is okay on shipping. Um, maybe sign some sort of legal document to prevent them to talk about it. You know, you can't say that you're receiving a test batch. You can't show pictures of it. You can't make a video about it. You can't say anything. It's just between you and the company. And if there's issues, you'll talk about it with Yoast or anyone in Jazz Inc. That way they can fix it. If there's issues, and then nobody knows anything except that small group of people that have it. And, you know, everyone else, when they start receiving it, they'll receive it with all the fixes without even knowing what's going on. I think that's what he should have done instead of giving it to YouTubers. That was the main problem, in my opinion. You're giving it to, giving it, giving it to influencers or not just, let's say, YouTubers and the, the, the fact that they were talking about it is opened itself up for people who are on the outside who are not in the closed Facebook groups and know about you know the whole purpose of the test batch immediately started seeing it as also oh, the first batch is bad or here's these YouTubers getting these cars for free and they can't talk so they can't be honest. So they have to talk nothing but good stuff about them, which is why they didn't want to release the videos with the problems. So that is why I think he shouldn't have sent it to the YouTubers, the influencers or whatever. Just keep it private next time. You know, I think that is the best move in my opinion. But then again, I'm not the owner of the company. 
but that is just an advice that I think would have worked better in this case because now you have a lot of people questioning you know the integrity of the company you have a youtuber in particular who always seems to I don't know almost make it like his life mission just to wait until a problem arise with Yazink to immediately talk about it and say hey see I told you so the company's not good which is kind of sad but that's the problem it opened the company opened itself up by doing it this way um, me personally like I said I understand the reason I understand the reasoning behind the test batch I was following Yost when he was talking about it and again I was one of those people that wanted to participate on it but I never got to have it um, and if he wants to do that next time I think that he should do it privately not give it to anyone who's gonna do videos or talk about it on Facebook or post pictures of it or anything just sign a legal document that they are not allowed to talk about it because this is just going to be for testings and you know by posting it it's gonna open itself up to misinterpretation like it did right now there's a lot of people right now that are thinking that Jazz Inc. are not being honest about the problems with the 89 Batmobile same with this youtubers that have the Batmobile and that's because not everybody's following the groups and even some of the people that are following the groups don't really understand what was happening because maybe they didn't see they haven't seen the live streams or follow everything that happens with the company which is you know completely understandable everyone has their own lives they don't live inside Facebook or YouTube or whatever I myself the only way I know is because whenever there's a live stream I just leave it on audio and I listen to it while I'm working or in the car or whatever if not I wouldn't have been able to do it either but um yeah just wanted to share this real quick um, well real quick it's taking me over 12 minutes but you know I just wanted to talk about this and just to, to I feel like maybe clear some things on the on why was this was happening in no way I wanted to make this look like I'm defending either side I just sharing my thoughts you know I am a Jazz Inc customer as you all know on my videos I have uh, have some of their vehicles and I have been saying multiple times that I'm waiting for the 89 Batmobile for me to get um, but I don't only buy jazzing stuff you know I also have Prime 1 and I have some hot toys and... but uh, yeah just wanted to share my thoughts on this and you know I'm curious what you all think about this now that you heard what I've said about the situation with the early batches and the real reasoning behind it um, do you agree with it do you agree with the idea of the early batches do you think it was a bad idea to have sent those early batches to youtubers first instead of just keeping it private to people who are not going to immediately make a video about it or post pictures of it because that's also another thing as soon as people started posting pictures of it on Facebook um, it looked like the complete vehicle you know not, not, not showing the problems it looked like the vehicle was good so not everybody thought that those pictures were from early batches they just thought they were from the actual you know production release that is going to be sent to everybody so yeah um, let me let me let me know your thoughts I'm curious let's have a, a conversation of what you think about this